Uh, the process of getting here, just traveling here, was a lot longer than I expected. So first I was in a plane for like 12 hours of flying, but then we got to the airport and then we were sitting in the airport for four hours waiting to get tested and then we got tested and then we were waiting another four hours for the results. So we were eight hours at the airport, which was a very long time. And then we got here last night, maybe like at 1 a.m. in the morning, we got here. And uh, I think at first I was a bit surprised <laughs> by the accommodation. And, uh, but I think like in the morning, walking around the village is very nice. And um, Tokyo, from what I can see out my window, it looks, it looks very nice with the water and the buildings. And, uh, it's quite hot here and humid, but not so bad. <laughs> Okay, talk us through your preparations before you got to Tokyo. Yeah, so the last few months I've actually had the chance to train at two different high performance programs in the United States. Uh, so one is Orion in Saratoga Springs in New York and the other one is in Philadelphia, it's called uh, Vesper. And so those two were very good opportunities for me to have a chance to train with other athletes who are at a at like a high level and also to get a little bit of competition before coming here because uh, because of COVID there hasn't been many competitions and so it was very good to have at least a chance to race twice before coming here. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, expectations from, for you, um, if you look at the competition I'm sure by now you've seen a couple of names and who you're going to have to come up against what does that look like for you? So mostly the competition is very fast here and that's what I would expect and uh, so I think it's hard to have an expectation especially in rowing because you can't really look at people's times and know how fast they are because conditions the wind and the waves make such a big difference in this sport um, but I think that my goal is to uh, to race my best race and then also to be one of the fastest athletes from Africa. Okay. Uh, Covid and all, you've seen the restrictions straight from the airport uh, to the village, all these sanitizing points. How do you think the games are going to look like in, in this Covid period? I think they're going to look just, just like that with all of the restrictions and all of the, the protocols in place. I think that there is a lot of work that has gone into trying to make the games as safe as possible with being tested every single day and everyone wearing masks and so I feel very safe here. I don't feel worried about getting COVID uh, and I think they will, I think obviously there will be some people when you have 50,000 people coming for an event between the media and the athletes and everything, I think there will be cases of COVID but I think they'll find them quickly so I, I don't think there's going to be a big problem with it. Everyone has made such a fuss about the beds. You have slept on the bed. Uh, <laughs> what do you think of the beds? Um, I think they're, they're good. Uh, I was a bit surprised when I arrived yesterday and it was a cardboard bed, but you know what? It's comfortable. I'm not complaining. I think it's, I, I didn't even realize people had made a big deal of it. Yeah.